Jay, how do you feel after that one today? Um, disappointed. I thought it was a pretty nothing game, to be honest. Um, if you're looking at chances created, I think, I think when you go back to the Hemel game and it was end to end, if you look at that today, I thought it looked um, quite flat. I expect I expect to have them done in all fairness. They've had a Thursday night game, but it's the goal we conceded. Isn't it? Is it like you, you should be coming here going, okay, we haven't really worked their keeper, but we shouldn't have conceded. The goal we conceded is, is, is horrendous. We need to see it back. Um, and that's a disappointing thing, but that's probably why we are where, where we are and not, not sitting in the playoffs, if I'm honest with you. We've, we've given away too many sloppy goals this year, and I, I sound like a scratch record saying it. Um, I've certainly, it's been a learning curve this year, um, and it, it's frustrating. It's frustrating, but we've got three games to go now. We've got to pick the boys up and, and uh, try and get try and finish as strong as we can. It did feel like that goal was slightly against the run of play because the boys were playing with confidence in that first sort of 10, 15 minutes, and then again towards the end of the half, but it just didn't come in that final third. Uh, I, I disagree with you slightly. I, I thought we never really got going. But we had, I mean, second half, we had large, large parts of possession, but have we earned them? Have we worked the keeper? Have we asked enough questions? And then one ball over the top, and I don't know what's happened, but we, we concede. And good sides like Dartford, who are solid, don't concede many goals. They've got one of the best defensive records in the league. They, they only need one chance, and they take that, and then it's shut up shop. So, um, what we needed was to make sure we went at half time nil nil if we weren't going to score and then hope that they tire a little bit. But but like I say, we weren't um, we weren't bright enough. Um, I don't think there was enough energy, enough zip around us, and in the final third we we lacked a little bit of creativity. And this is, this is not digging around, but if you if you go through it like um, in the forward areas, we we were probably all slightly off it today, um, and that and that makes it hard to uh, to, to score goals. But um, Flip side of that, we, we should be standing there talking about a nil-nil, pretty nothing game and going. It's not a bad point against second in the table, but we end up losing the game. So um, very, very disappointed um, in front of a good crowd that we've not, we've not, yeah, got the points. Or having, something. having said what you said about the the attacking moves and and moments, Jeremy Santos did seem to have a good game. He was. Everywhere. I thought I thought Santos was one of our brightest sparks. Obviously, he's. Um, I've been waiting him to get up to f full speed. I don't think he's quite there yet, but he was certainly one of the ones with sparks. He first half when he was closing down, he's and I, f I felt he deserved his start today. Um, so no, I was I was pleased for him. Santos knows what I think of him, and I now I think everyone at the club thinks highly of him. So I'm pleased that he came in had a good game. But was there enough with that energy and with that zip today? There, there probably wasn't, and that's the truth. But. I'm not saying, look, this is taking nothing away from Darth, I'm sorry, I, don't, I just thought it was a pretty nothing game. It was a nil-nil game. It had nil-nil written all over it, and then we had one minute of madness, and, and we end up losing the game. And Jack Wood looked pretty disappointed to come off. I mean, most players are. But bringing Tommy Wood on, what was the thought about that? Um, I thought Jack was, was quiet today. I thought he was quiet today. Sam Adalo, left back, the right at Margate, he's a, he's a very good player, and I thought he got the better of Jack today. So um, it, it was try and get two up front at that point, try and get some crosses into the box, and we never really did that with any quality. So yeah, it was just to get another forward on the pitch really, um, change things as I felt the game had gone flat, so you, at that point you want to mix things up and just change angles, change patterns a little bit. And um, But again, when we got them on and we got Faggy on, did we put enough balls in the box? No, did we when we got in wide areas? I thought our decision making today, decision making let, let us down when when we should go longer, when we should keep the ball, this and that. We just made wrong decisions all over the park. and. Um, but, look, for me, it looked like a nil-nil game apart from one minute of madness. And uh, Chippenham next game with just three games left, how crucial is that away fixture? Well, like I said all along, if we can't finish in the top seven, then let's finish as high, like, as, high as we can. And um, a Top ten, I think everyone would have took that at the start of the season. That's what we've got to aim. If, if, if you've got to aim to win your next three games. And um, we'll be on it, the boys. We're not now just going to take our foot off it and... Um, have a jolly up. We've got to go to Chipping and we're on a great one. I think probably just behind us in the league. I don't know how results are, but um, they're probably not far us in the league. They've been one of the form teams since Christmas. Um, I thought they were good here. We've got to win against them, but it'd be a tough place. It'd be a tough place to go. Um, and then obviously we've got Farmer and, and, and Cheson. So it's all to, all to play for still. We've got to push as far as we can and uh, as much as we can because I want to get as many points on the board and finish as high as we can. And if, if that, who knows, if you won three, you don't know whether you'd creep in there, but. I think for me the playoffs would be hard now, but we won't give up trying. Brilliant. All right, thank you very much. No, thank you.